I think he's made some adjustments, uh, you know, in, in, in dealing with the, the unorthodox defenses that Canada's throwing at them. They've been a little bit more. Marcel Crevier moving the ball around the perimeter. Here's Joel Bacazzi. She'll score it. And a power play goal to start. It's a very good player. Second look here. Fish will step in off the deal from Leibowitz. And of experience in the age group scene but it was a chance for him to kind of go back to that a bit where he had to really kind of go back to basics a little bit gold medals the last few years yeah it's definitely different but it, it, it can be very rewarding and you can see the improvement you know and in, in it's on the final game of day four we take a timeout and return we're back after this with more live action from uc davis stay with us and so canada goes in front two to one Second look here. Nice. Stay down on it. Just sneaks it right in the corner. What do you see, coach? Well, the center defender left. She's really disturbing. Use theirs. 3-3, three, three, the score. Third quarter action. That's why we play the game. This is true. <laughs> the rivalry game always, always, you never know what can happen. The player had not arrived yet. Let's take a second look here. If the player at position four move in and stay in an area where she can receive her. She steps in at position four, ball to the wing, catch and shoot. Seconds to play. Well, familiar with clutch situation. Balls for time. 21 seconds left here to go for the win. 5-5, five, five, Canada, USA. And Aria Fisher seems like a likely candidate to. <laughs> and she hits it. What a shot. Seidemann's like, enough of you. Second to go, and they defeat Canada 6-5. to five. They trail 3-1 at halftime. And a strong second half for Team USA drives them to victory. Aria Fisher did a lot of the heavy lifting through this one.